Collingwood played Geelong in the first semi-final. The last time these two met in a final was the 2019 qualifying final, where it was won by the Pies by 19 points. The Pies are up and about early. Stevenson, oh boy. Boy, oh boy. Collingwood have got four in the first quarter. Jeremy Howe comes steaming through and goes bang. Adams has got space. Busts that one, kicks the goal. Two that's coming back. Geelong have made a move. Back on, snap, got it. Catch back. And it's side bottom. Yes. Canterbury on his favourite left side. Sizes it up and grills the goal. Coming back. It's a goal, I think. It. It's a two-goal game. Hawkins, left foot step. Miss. The Pies are through the preliminary final in 2019. It's Pendlebury's 300. There was Ed and Joe going nuts after that win. Uh, obviously, Geelong finished top, Pies fourth, but they were too good on that night, the Collingwood Footy Club. But you're impressed with Port Adelaide's second half and they overpowered Geelong through the midfield, Ross. Yeah, particularly in the contest. When you said, we're going to have a cracking game, but Geelong's strength is around the ball. Their number one contested ball. Interesting, Port two, Pies three. So they both move it differently, but the contest here of Port in the second half. Cats, when they're in control, plus eight in the first half and then minus eight in the second half. So we also got Adams here. He was hard as a... Mm. He's had a super year. He's become a real leader there. So they'll come across full of belief. But the contest, it's going to be won and lost around the ball and at the source and give each other ground position. I agree with that, Ross. There will be one in the midfield this one. But I want to show the way they've kicked to uh, Mason Cox on the weekend. And what's, I want to go back to two th this my famous preliminary final where I thought Pendlebury, the way he wastes the ball, he tells Cox where to lead the ball, uh, lead to. And I thought this, it was just showing another replay of that, obviously, in that preliminary final, Caro, which you would hate to watch. But just want to show the weekend, this kick. So Pendlebury's kicked it. Cox was running back towards goal. He was running to a poor spot and Penelope said, no, nah, I'll tell you where to lead. And he's kicked this ball. Watch Cox turn back. Barras is already in the goal square thinking where it's going. And I thought, what wonderful a footy IQ in, that is in, for Scotty Incredible. Penelope. That's yeah. why he's an all-time great, Scotty. So we, that term is the kick draws the lead. He kicks it and draws the lead. All of those kicks, even against Richmond, nothing sat on Cox's head. He went forward and he couldn't be nudged under and bodied out. So it's a great pickup. A lot of debate around Tom Hawkins and his game. I thought, you know, he's had six shots for goal, so I don't give Trent McKenzie the credit that others maybe have, but they forced him wide. How do you go about doing that again if you're Collingwood? Well, Kenny Hitley spoke about his presser. I acknowledge he had six shots, but they were wide yeah. and they were high. They didn't give up the corridor and they played him back shoulder rather than assertive in front defence where he could draw the ball deep. So they just need to keep back shoulder, force him wide, but Port's pressure was fanatical. If that pressure drops off, he won't be wide. He'll be in the corridor marking it 20 metres out. So I think if you can kick him from there, good luck to you, Tom. As great as you are, we'll play the percentages and force you wide. I want to show this, Ross, because in home and away football, the strength has been Tom Hawkins. He's just won them so many games. They're in come finals. You need some assistance. And I look at this, you know, after Hawkins, Rowan, he's under enormous pressure in this final. 19 goals. Myers, he had a poor final last week. Then it's midfield goals, and then you drop down to Ablett. I don't think they win this game of footy if Rowan, Myers, Ablett didn't contribute last week's score. And this was the last time they played the Pies. Only kicked five, and they all underperformed. It's a great stat. Yeah. And if you're the Collingwood match committee, we could sit there. You don't have to be a yeah. genius. You say, well, Hawkins kicks the majority of their goals. Don't let him beat us. Let... Let Myers beat us, let Rowan beat us, but not Hawkins. So guess what? The defence is going to be focused on Hawkins. And if you can now play two or three of us, good luck to you. And the others, you're going to have to stand up. So maybe Dangerfield needs to spend more time for Ross, a question for you. You had a great tagger in Ryan Crowley. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Levi Greenwood got hold of Tim Kelly last week. Who would you send yeah. Greenwood to this week? I thought it was a stroke of genius. Yeah. Kelly's been dragging him across the line. Me, I'm not sure. I, I think Dane, Dangerfield or Salwood's their captain. He'll be looking to inspire and he'll steal himself. He's an all-time great. Don't let him off the chain. Suppress him. Like the Australian test team used to go after the opposition captain. Go after Geelong's captain and knock him over. Who do you like in this one, Ross? Yeah, I'm still Geelong. I firm belief in the group that they'll rebound and get it done. But you're going to meet a Collingwood that are just... Their mindset, they'll, they'll feel invincible and bulletproof. So Geelong have got... A, it's going to go to the end here. It's going to be a great game. Collingwood in a tight one for me, Sam.